Hey there, storytellers. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I thought because Thanksgiving is just a few days away that I would do the Booksgiving book tag. So without any further ado, let's just get right into this. So I will link the Booksgiving tag information down below, the original creator, the questions, all that good stuff if you want to play along. But it is basically 10 questions wherein you kind of assign book character roles to sort of stereotypical Thanksgiving guest roles. And then there's a couple just bonus bookish thankful questions at the end there. But I thought because I'm a dork and because I thought it would be a little bit fun and challenging to uh, limit my range of characters that I would do the tag exclusively with characters from the Simon Snow trilogy. So without any further ado, let's get into the tag. Questions one and two are the Wrangler and the Savior. Which character is most likely to wrangle the turkey for Turkey Day and which character is the most likely to save it from becoming dinner? For part one of that question, the Wrangler, I have to go with Simon. This absolute buffoon is definitely someone who would chase after a turkey. There's just no question about it. He would. And for the other half of that question, the savior, I went with Agatha because out of all of the characters in the novel, she seems the most likely to decide against sort of making a live turkey her dinner because it's mentioned that she wanted to be a veterinarian at one point and she's pretty into animals so I feel like Agatha would be the most likely to speak up and save the turkey. Question number three is the drama king or queen. Which character is most likely to start a fight at the dinner table and we're all lying to ourselves but we know the answer is in fact Basilton Grimpitch. It is. He's a drama king and he will start a fight at the table. Like it's not even a question. He will. He will do it. Happy Thanksgiving. Question number four is Space Cadet. Which character would accidentally set the oven on fire? And for this I have to go with Ebenezer. Eb is so sweet. She's so well-meaning and good-hearted but she absolutely would forget that she was baking something and set the oven on fire. It, it just, I feel like that's just what would happen. Question five is the loner. Which character is most likely to be alone on Thanksgiving or on the outskirts of the celebration? Because let's face it, no one wants them there. And for that, I have to go with the mage. He's just not a fun guy. And I think even though Simon would have invited the mage to Thanksgiving, nobody else would have really wanted the mage there and it would have been really awkward and he probably would have ended up by himself. Question six is the perfectionist. What character would absolutely be preoccupied with making sure everything at the event is absolutely to a T perfect? And again, I think we all know the answer to this one. If you've read these novels, Penny. Penny would absolutely be the one making sure every little detail was just so because she's very detail oriented. She's a take charge kind of lady and she wouldn't sit there and let the boys just faff about winging Thanksgiving. She'd be like, this is how you have to do it. And that's how that would go. Question seven is the embarrassment. Which character would have a little bit too much, aka a lot of the holiday spiced apple cocktail? And for that, I would absolutely have to go with Shepard. He has mischief written all over his personality and he would definitely be someone who was like this tastes great and accidentally drink way too much of the spiced cocktail and then he would probably do something dumb like make a marriage proposal to a demon or get stuck in another dimension or any of the other nonsense that Shepard has probably gotten up to. That is it for the character-based questions of the books giving tag. Question eight is what book or books are you least thankful for this year? And for me that has to be hands down The Picture of Dorian Gray and Practical Magic. They were ones that I was really looking forward to and ended up being a little bit let down by. Um, I didn't absolutely hate them, but they certainly didn't stand out the way I thought they would. So definitely least thankful for those two. Question nine is what book or books are you most thankful for? And for me, that has to be the conclusion to the Simon Snow trilogy, Any Way the Wind Blows. I think I'm a little bit standalone <laughs> in my opinion that I really loved the novel. There were definitely things I would have changed about it, but I, I loved it. And I thought as a whole, it was a pretty good ending for these characters and leaving them where they are now. And 
The other one I would pick for the book I am currently most thankful for having read this year is Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. I've talked about this book a lot already, um, but it was beautiful and really well written and I really enjoyed it. So I'm most thankful for those two at the moment. Of course, I have the rest of November and December to get some other reading in, so I might be thankful for some other books, but right now those are my top two. And last but not least, question 10 is name a random thing you're thankful for. And for me, that has to be a boyfriend who not only is supportive and encouraging of me making these YouTube videos, but also was kind enough to totally let me take over his spare room when I moved in and fill it with all my crazy book stuff because let's be real, I totally took over this part of the house and I'm really thankful that he let me do that because it gave me a space to create these videos for you guys in addition to him being really supportive about it. So it's great. It gives me space to have backgrounds that are bookish and fun and helps make my creative space even more engaging. But yeah, I'm really thankful for him among other people. Very thankful for lots of people, but in terms of bookish things, he uh, did me a solid by letting me have this room. Let's, I definitely have way too many books to put somewhere else in the house. Let's be real. But that is it for the books giving tag. If you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you want to keep up with me and all of my bookish adventures, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button. Of course, I highly recommend that you ring the little bell so that you don't miss a beat. It will notify you every time I post a new video, which there will be one more coming in the month of November, and then we start Bookmas. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that, and you definitely should ring the bell so you get notified the second the Bookmas videos start going live. So I will see you guys next week with a new one. Bye!